Hello everybody! How are you all doing today? Welcome back! Today I'm filming at my desk where I do my Japanese homework and follow my Japanese classes. The lighting is quite nice today, there's a lot of sunshine outside, so I thought I'd just film here and to be honest, um, I'm not that motivated to move my computer and all the cables to my usual filming spots, so hopefully this will do! Today we are reacting to episode number... Ooh, what number is it? Episode 10? Wow, it's episode 10 already, which is called Aquariums and Street Food in Osaka. Long title. Really excited for this one. But before we start, as usual, I would like to shout out the hashtag Education is not tourism. I still have a little bit of hope for that. I'm going to be able to go to Japan in October before I'm no longer able to go and this whole project just crumbles and I fall flat on my face so I'll keep shouting it out and I'll keep asking you to also keep shouting it out and uh, tweet it and talk about it etc etc to put at least a little bit more pressure on the government, the Japanese government to open because we we're all waiting and we're still hoping and if you don't know yet, I've been waiting for a year and a half as an international student to enter Japan and if it doesn't happen by October, which is so soon, I'm going to have to give up and move on with my life because I can't wait any longer and it's just not up to me anymore at this point. My back is against the wall unless something miraculous happens financially, especially where I can go find another place where I can wait more comfortably, but right now it's just it's just all very complicated. So I know I go on about this at the start of every video, but that's it's just very important to me and uh, that way I keep you updated or informed if you guys are new here. Also, if you are new here, I'm reacting to my past travel videos, so I would suggest that you go watch said travel videos before watching me react to them because it's Hi! Look who's coming <laughs> down the stair! My child barging in during my BBC interview. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Yes, during these reaction videos I talk a lot, I pause a lot, and you might find it annoying if you just want to watch the content. So <laughs> I'm just giving more insight and trying to remember things that I may have not mentioned during these videos. So let's get started. My cat just sat down on my earphones and I guess he's joining us for the video which is something that he doesn't I think he's in almost every video reaction video of mine so far so let's keep the trend alive let's get started it's probably gonna explode in my ear there we go and good morning everybody I can't hear how are you doing today so I just went and got oh, myself a little uh, breakfast here um, turns out it wasn't that cheap. I think the thing that was expensive is this, but I was looking for some fruit. It wasn't fruit. And this looks like it's fruit, and it was but so yeah, it might actually be dessert. Mm -hmm. Whoops. It is uh, 9.20. This Can is my new phone, phone case, case, by the way. Got it yesterday. Finally, I found a place that sold for iPhone 5. I'm gonna explore Osaka today. I'm gonna have breakfast. I'm gonna read up on what to do in Osaka. Um, I'm with my you uh, paper guide because internet phone. is not working. It's just not working at all, guys. I think I'm gonna visit the aquarium, uh, which was something that I wanted to do. Uh, hope, I'm just gonna see if it's actually worth it. Um, ma, 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 so aquarium, maybe go back to Dotonbori area because yesterday it was very crowded and it was the evening so I want to see how it is in a, another time of the day and tomorrow, well, starting tomorrow I'm gonna go explore like Kyoto and Nara I have an appointment in Kyoto tomorrow so I kind of remember that day I especially remember editing this video because I just wanted to show every single piece of footage that I had from the aquarium <laughs> so it just goes on for a long time which is why this video is like 30 minutes long aquarium I really like this aquarium by the way okay I think this is the part where I just 
there's just b-roll after b-roll after b-roll for a super long time so I guess I can kind of talk about my memories I don't necessarily need the music it is your typical aquarium it's got that you know the entrance with the um, bridge and the ceiling where you can where you can just see all the fishies and it's really beautiful, it's well kept uh, it's got a pretty good selection one thing that I do remember and I think I mentioned it a little further in the video uh, is that there are many many uh, kids visiting with their schools like very small young children and they make quite a lot of noise quite a lot of noise I do remember my ears ringing a little bit at the end. I mean, it, it doesn't ruin the ambiance and kids are kids like they were amazed and impressed by remember them being so loud. All in all, it was a really nice ex uh, experience at the aquarium. It was raining outside anyway. It was gloomy. I don't know how bad it was raining, but it was gloomy. So it was nice to visit something and, you know, take my time in the aquarium all in all. And then of course there were the jellyfish. I think that was my favorite part, the jellyfish tanks. They're really mesmerizing. I just want to show everything. Every single one of my shots I want to add. And I understand that they're... I mean the shots are beautiful but not like in a professional way. More like what I'm shooting is really beautiful and I want to show everything. Um, <laughs> but it wasn't... I now know that I'm allowed to edit myself and I don't have to show everything. But it's hard to choose. Definitely hard to choose. So that's it for the aquarium. I really liked it, even though there were a few moments where I was like, oh, they shouldn't be in here. It was still really amazing. And of course, if you can see behind me, there were schools, not schools of fish, but schools of humans, little loud humans everywhere. So uh, yeah, I was trying to like get in between, like one far behind and one far in front um, to yeah, like, really avoid them because they were so loud. <laughs> So my, I used up a whole battery on this uh, on this tour, so I only have one battery left for the rest of the day. And now I'm gonna head on to. Um, oh, I remember this. I can I think I really, I can visualize this day rather clearly. It's coming back to me. This might be my lunch today. Yep. It was the it lunch. Was really good. And I think it was really good. <laughs> I do remember I had some trouble figuring out the menu and how to order. We know this shot from the trailer. It was so good with the raw egg. Eggs in Japan are supposed to be like so fresh that eating them raw doesn't really cause trouble. Okay, it's getting really crowded in here. And I'm still at the beginning of my vlog, so we need to get a move on and I need to stop every few minutes. Be like, oh, what's this? Oh, what's that? <laughs> ah, we're back in Dotonbori with the Glicomia. And all the people taking photos. And all the big signs. Those are really impressive. <gasps> Little crab mascot. I think I had some... Got the name. Gyoza. I'm hungry for something sweet, but I mean, you can't not have takoyaki. And I had gyoza. I'm not sure I had it at that place, but I had gyoza in Otanbori, and they were by far the best gyoza I've ever had. And uh, yeah, come with me. I had so much street food. Dotonbori is a really fun area to walk through, in my opinion. The walk I did from Lonely Planet, the I think it was called the Shinsaibashi walk or something, I do recommend you doing it. It's really nice. There are probably many other things you can do, obviously, but that's what I did at that time. They were so good. They were so, so good. They were so good. I had lunch before this, and I'm still salivating. <laughs> 
spider men like in the most random places i forgot about this spider man so many stalls so much street food i think this is the area i was following from my guidebook <laughs> It's actually a real sound from back then. I think I remember this little area. Uh, and I think this is when I start running out of battery because I used one whole battery pack in the aquarium. <laughs> and I only have two. I still only have two. And they, they go out really fast, which is pretty frustrating. It's starting to get dark, but that's what makes it really beautiful at the moment. The lights are on, the food stalls are out, the people are queuing up. I've just had takoyaki again for the second time. The first time was in Harajuku, and you remember I was kind of iffy about it. This time was so much better, like 10 times better. I really enjoyed it. The only thing that I have against takoyaki is that you take a bite in it and it's like scolding hot inside. So if you ever try takoyaki, beware of that. It's like scolding hot. I burned the inside of my mouth. I and I it definitely was too eager to eat that takoyaki in Osaka. Just burn everything. <laughs> but it was so good. It was like food in Osaka is next level, yo. Sorry Tokyo food that I had so far. You were good. But I mean, the takoyaki in Osaka were so good. The gyoza were so good. And I'm so annoyed that I didn't try like okonomiyaki and all the other stuff. Yay! I remember where it was America Mura. I didn't stay very long though. But the people were like the yeah the, the fashion that the young people were wearing was really it was really cool. It looks like I had fun just exploring. Sometimes you don't need to visit like a tourist spot. You just walk walk, just walk, explore, discover, see, like just experiencing sometimes. Went through the subway station, I went through Namba Walk, and now I'm going through this thing, whatever this thing is. I mean, they can't be much further. Okay, seriously, how much further is this? This is crazy. <laughs> Found it! It's there! Yes! <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how that worked actually. Maybe it was Namba Station, like the normal Namba Station, and then the Namba JR Station, which were just so far apart or something, or maybe I walked from a whole other station to find the Namba JR Station, but whatever it was, that walk took forever. It took a really long time. I'm not sure that saving a buck was worth it at that point and I think that towards the end of my stay in Osaka I was just like spending my money and my Suica card and being like I'm done walking <laughs> between the JR station and the other metro because it's way too long. Okay, I really love that episode. There was a lot happening. Started out with the aquarium. We've gone over that part. Really love the aquarium. Then went to Dotonbori clearly uh, with the nightfall at the food and the ambiance and America Mura afterwards uh, and the lights and the styles. I feel like I could. Uh, I feel like I did get a pretty good dose of Osaka on that day. Oh my god, I miss it. Come on, Japan. Why aren't you open yet? Why are you doing this to us? I want my gyoza. <laughs> I want my onigiri. I want everything. And I want to try all the food I haven't tried yet. Because I haven't tried okonomiyaki yet. And I've been told off for that. So <laughs> let us in. So I can try okonomiyaki. <laughs> and all the other things that I want to try. Okay. Um, like I said, I don't have that much to say about this episode. There's just a lot. And I feel like... It's a pretty good self-explanatory episode in itself. I didn't show everything here, but I do recommend you go back and see the full episode if you haven't yet or if you've forgotten about it. Right now it's really sunny, so I'm gonna go outside, get some fresh air, and I recommend that you do the same if you're able to. I know these are hard times with very difficult things happening. I very 
cruel things are happening also so i hope you're okay and i hope you're taking care of yourself and uh education is not tourism and uh yeah, just sending you a lot of happy vibes and good vibes and um i'm definitely myself feeling a little better compared to the last video so maybe we're on the up maybe good things are happening um touch wood <laughs> i'm always afraid when i say that because i feel like something's gonna fall on my head anyway that's all for me i will see you in the next one hopefully so take care you're good a word to you all. You're super far away. Ah.